Hi! In this video, we'll take a look at a few different encryption algorithms that are used to protect your information. Cryptography is an important aspect of securing information in the digital world. Information and data can be protected by transforming it or encrypting it into a secure, unreadable format. Here are a few ways that cryptography works to keep our information safe. Encryption ensures our privacy and confidentiality. No one should be able to read the message except for the intended receiver. Using cryptographic keys ensures non-repudiation. Now, non-repudiation means that the sender cannot deny that they were the one who sent the message or document. This is similar to physically signing a message. And key exchange is the method in which cryptographic keys are shared between sender and receiver. This is important because keys should be shared in a very secure manner. There are two common types of encryption. In symmetric encryption, the same key is used to encrypt and to decrypt. In asymmetric encryption, one key is used for the encryption and then a separate key is used to decrypt the message. One cipher that is commonly used during encryption is a substitution cipher. In this type of cipher, one character or symbol takes the place of another in all instances. Feel free to pause this video and try to determine what this message says. Here's the decoded message. You can see that all S's were replaced with Y's. And in the same way, all D's were replaced with M's. This is symmetric encryption. If you know the key for each character, such as S turns into Y, then you would just reverse that process to decipher the code back to the original message and change all Y's to S's. A block cipher can add complexity to a cipher by grouping bits into different blocks and then encrypting each block with a different key. Let's split this phrase by each word for simplicity. We'll encrypt the first block with a key of three and then the second block with a key of 10. You can see in the first block that A has become the letter D. But in the second block, the letter T has become the letter D. This time, if someone tries to crack the code and only figures out the first key, they can only decipher one half of our message. Let's say someone has figured out the first block. They've noticed that all the Ds in the first word make sense if you change them to As. This would mean the key is three. However, applying the same process to the second word doesn't seem to help. A key of three doesn't decrypt this part of the message. So they know an attack is coming, but they don't know when. The person cracking this code needs to try up to 26 keys per word or per block. This would definitely slow them down in deciphering the message. It's still not the best though. In this example, they would only need to try up to 52 different keys, 26 for each block, to be able to crack the code. Let's make it even tougher. What if we were to scramble the words before applying the keys? This is a type of transposition cipher, which is when the plain text is scrambled or shifted with a regular system. The original message is still in there. Do you see it? Attack. Tonight. Attack. Tonight. We've just mixed them together this time. Now let's apply the two separate keys to these two separate blocks. Looks good. If someone tries to decipher this message using the key three, that's still unreadable. It's still mumble jumble. And if someone tries to decipher it using the key 10, well, that's no help either. Using a mixture of keys as well as a few set procedures helps to hide this code. All right. Now it's your turn to explore.